So in your love sector, I almost feel like um, you're taking a little bit of a break from a significant person that you're dealing with. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with them, you know, trying to sort out things from their own lives, trying to organize their schedule, trying to organize their life, trying to, I feel like um, they're pulled in many different directions and love might not have been their main focus or their priority, or there might have been time constraints on their end where they're not able to juggle successfully the relationship that they have with you, or even have a sense of direction as to what they're going, where they're going with you. And as a result of it, I feel like you might have felt like you were put on the back burner for some time. And so... I see you as your energy coming in for this week here, the Queen of Wands. So this is a very provocative energy and uh, it's usually like I'm going to focus on my own things, my own career, my own family, my own situation and let you handle yours. And when you're done handling yours and when you have made up your mind, then you can contact me. I might be here, I might not, but you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But I feel like you're doing this with a little bit of disdain, but I feel like secretly in your hearts of hearts, you're going to wait around and you're going to be there when they decide to contact you and when they are finished sorting out things from their end, okay? So this is more your energy. Um, this is a flirtatious energy. It's also somebody that uh, takes initiative. You get things started from your end. And sometimes it can be very perplexing for you as to why someone takes forever to make up their mind, why someone takes forever to make a move, why someone would take forever to just initiate things in their own lives and why they're not as organized, as proactive, as ambitious as you. So you're dealing with a partner or a relationship, uh, love interest, uh, who is a little bit more all over the place, okay? So this is the energy of the person that you're dealing with, Five of Swords. This is somebody that might have recently gotten out of a, of a relationship and they're still trying to find themselves. They have a gazillion things that they're trying to sort out, okay? This person is like handling all these difficult circumstances one by one and they're doing it in a manner where they would rather uh, suffer in silence. They would rather like take care of things first just to test their capabilities before they can come back to a relationship partner or come back to you or decide, it's almost like if one area of their life is uh, has gone awry, they don't feel like they can bring their best to the relationship until they sort out their mental thoughts, until they have arrived at you know how they feel about things, until they have processed the events that recently happened in their life. So I see you kind of um, um, snubbing this person, but in a way it's more of like loving detachment. You take care of your things when you're ready, then I'll be here. If not, you know, then you just need to sort out things from your end. So I feel like they're in the process of sorting things out and they're in the process of trying to, you know, gather their strength. The other card that's linked up with them. So you're going to be dealing with this person throughout the week. I have as well the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords in the traditional Rider Waite deck, it deals with sneaky behavior, withholding affection, uh, not expressing how they feel, as well as, you know, just overall sneaky behavior and, and trust issues brewing in a relationship. So if they start taking too long to get back to you, I feel like you might, you know, revert to like worst case scenario. You might think like, oh, they have already forgotten me. They have already, you know, moved on or they're keeping somebody on the side or dating other people on the side. Be careful about that because I feel like this person might be dealing with a lot of things and uh, they're having like um, a mental crisis trying to get their lives in order, trying to stabilize things from their end. So it has really nothing to do with you, but more like everything that's gone awry in their lives that they need to kind of emotionally and mentally process. Um, before they can decide, okay, do I leave this in the past? Do I throw it away? Do I move forward? How do I move forward? So I feel like it, it, it's an in, internal process. And um, I'm inclined to say like an internal processing, um, you know, like a processor, like a computer. And I feel like they're constantly, you know, they're, they, they need to recharge. They need to, to take a break. And if there has been a break from this person, I feel like you're going to be dealing with them. There's going to be 
um, energies of them coming back into the picture, okay? And if you're dealing with someone who recently got out of a relationship, I feel like the best that they can offer to you here, I have here the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is a playful, young energy. It's non-committal. And so they might be testing the waters with you or they might be offering something that... Um, they might be offering something that might not live up to your expectations. I'm sorry, this is the Knight of Cups, okay? The Princess of Cups is the Page of Cups, whereas the Prince of Cups is the Knight of Cups. So the two energies that are coming in, I feel like there's a mismatch. It's sort of like they're testing the waters. They're not really sure at this point in their lives. They have a gazillion things going on if they can fully and truly commit to you. And I feel like you want a little bit more of a you know, all eyes on me. If it's not 100%, uh, then don't give me half, you know, that type of a mentality where you do want a little bit more of a commitment. You want a little bit more of a steadfast energies. You want a little bit more stability in your relationship sector. So while they're sorting out these things, I feel like they're still um, playful, flirtatious, uh, lighthearted energies being exchanged between the two of you. But I don't see the, the actual coming together, like um, date nights and, and moving forward in the same direction. And I feel like because of it, because they might take their time or because their communication is very lighthearted and um, a little bit less, you know, committed, you might think about worst case scenarios or they might think about worst case scenarios. Like, is that Aries person really going to wait around for me or are they talking to other people? I feel like for some of you, you might be dealing with two people if you're out there dating. I see one as an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And this person really wants to make things work with you. And I feel like they're jumping through hoops. They've done a lot to, you know, work on their communication to express how they feel as well as to kind of sort things out from there and to kind of energetically link up with you. And then I see a water sign, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and their energy is a lot more sincere. There's great unbridled passion and just, you know, great chemistry, great rapport, a lot of plans and dates that actually will come to fruition for this week if it's a, a new water sign. And so you have a few suitors that are in the picture for you, but I feel like you're still kind of... Um, emotionally tied up with somebody you're trying to let them go you're trying to turn your back but I definitely feel they're still you know as as much as um even though you're that first sign of the zodiac and people say like you can um kind of shut people off like easily I feel like emotionally it's not a good thing it's not an easy process for you and it's not an easy process for anyone but I feel like you still care you know and um uh, when you get mad, you just tend to blow up, but then you get over it. And I feel like because you're able to get over things really quickly, you're also able to understand what, what the other person is dealing with, what they're struggling with. And it makes you a lot more sympathetic, especially if you might understand that it has nothing to do with you, but more like things that they're taking care of the, from their end. And as a result of it, they might not be able to come to you and give you that full commitment that you're hoping for. But... um. The energy is really good for fun and flirtation and especially for singles who are um, detaching themselves from another person to move forward. And I feel like the water sign, the water sign energy, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is a lot more receptive and it is a lot more in alignment with where you need to be right now on the emotional front, okay? In other areas of your life, I feel almost like falling in love with the work that you do and getting really um, good compensation for it. So I have as well the six of coins. This is the six of pentacles. Getting really good support and um, recognition even from higher ups, okay? This is like the uh, supervisors, the managers giving you like preferential treatment when it comes to projects. They're, handle, they're handing you off uh, off to you projects that they know you can do a really good job at. So you might get first pick. You might even uh, be switching offices. And, you know, for example, if some people have left the office, they might have vacant offices like the corner uh, office or even the window office, the window view. And I feel like if you're putting in bids for that, then you're definitely getting it. And I see for some of you putting in bids for to change your hours, to change your schedule. And you're also getting, you know, your first pick.
as well as overtime rates, days, and how many hours you're working overtime. And I feel like you're getting preferential treatment. I see some of you might be ending a cycle here when it comes to working. We have the Wheel of Fortune. This is rounding things out, okay? So whatever you have paid into your retirement, I feel like it's coming back to you. It, it's like coming full circle. So this is a card of money coming through from uh, financial institutions. So for those who are um, who have you know worked, many of you are very very uh, good workers, and you might have started working at a really young age as well. So your retirement funds, I feel like you know you you've got a hefty savings, and um, you've got a lot paid into your retirement, your um, IRA and things like that, or even your pension plan. And I feel like you're drawing from it for some of you who are retiring. And you're at a point where I feel like, you know, you have worked and you are at a point now where you can relax and ease up and draw on the retirement funds. So I see some of you consulting financial advisors, financial institutions in order to get that. And I feel what's coming through with this King of Pentacles here. Uh, meeting with a financial advisor, someone who can give you very lucrative advice as to investment options, portfolios, options, stock options, and things like that, or even vacation packages. And um, I feel like for those of you who are still working, um, I feel like, you know, people coming at you um, on the professional front. So they, they come at you with friendships, with also offers, but you want to make sure that they are single, okay? You want to make sure that they are single and available rather than flirting with people that are already engaged, married, or, you know, in complicated relationships, okay? And that's quote-unquote. So you want to be a little bit careful about that because your energy is very, very flirtatious and provocative. And I feel like some of you might be getting out there and trying to, you know, tell the ex or tell somebody that you're dealing with who's been giving you mixed signals like, oh, I don't need you. I'm going to, you know, um, flirt with other people. I'm just going to go have a good time. So because of that energy that you're bringing to the table as this queen of wands here, she's provocative, she's attractive, and, you know, she's looking for a good time. And you might attract the wrong types of attention, especially from people who are already in other relationships. And just be careful of doing that. Excuse me. Be careful of doing that overall. Um, the A bag fell off the table. So maybe look at it as, uh, you know, confirmation as to what I'm saying. Be careful about flirting uh, with the wrong people. And especially if it's in the work front, it can create rumors, especially if it's like, you know, um, acquaintances that you know and um, you know one thing leads to another and I feel like you know their spouse their significant other their girlfriend their boyfriend might know about it and it can just create unnecessary drama so I feel like this is the beginning uh, of something that you can easily avoid so don't uh, dig too deep into it and and you know and have trouble finding your way out later okay and cause discord between um, mutual friends and acquaintances and even people on the professional front, okay? Um, I feel like in the family front, and um, I have the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune usually indicates to me like family cycles. And it's actually very positive because uh, what I feel is somebody coming into quite a bit of money, um, possibly parents or people in your family unit that are um, either retiring or they have some type of a severance package and they're going to be traveling and you're going to be hearing about that and i also feel like if you have mom and dad that are planning to retire and they're planning to go overseas they might uh, leave behind things for you such as a property a car that they no longer need so i definitely see a, a huge amount of abundance coming through as well as gifts coming through and um financial windfalls coming through for many of you and i feel like they're coming in gifts and trick they're coming in in forms of gifts and trinkets from the people that are in your family unit um i also see as well you know harmony between you and the people that you work with so there's a lot of um um, there's a lot of caretaking between people and I feel like if you're in a especially stressful environment, co-workers might leave little pieces of candy or little notes or little thank you notes or little trinkets and items on your desk as a token of their appreciations. If not co-workers, then I feel like clients, customers and people like that, okay? 
it's a really good week for you um, in other areas of your life. I feel like in the love front, things are a little bit stall. But because things are stall in love, I feel like you're expanding your energy outwards and you're focusing more on other areas. And that's where you're going to start to feel the appreciation and the abundance coming full circle for you through the people that you come in daily contact with who give you that emotional support and also that emotional thanks that you're, you feel might not be uh, available for you in, in a relationship partner. Okay.